full card again. Uh, but back to what I was saying, uh, I prefer the AK-74 over an AR-15. I don't know what to tell you. Some people prefer the AR, I'm an AK guy. Alright, before we move on to the cartridges, I'll just show you uh, the gun you've seen a thousand times. This is my Makarov PM. And, uh, it's a, a 9 by 18 millimeter. It was the standard Russian sidearm for I don't know how many years, and it was just recently replaced. Uh, one thing I do like about this pistol, how easy it is to break down. There you go. Fixed barrel, inherently an accurate design. In trained hands, this is a, an extremely extremely effective little gun. The only thing that it's lacking is in the power department. Feeds from uh, little detachable box magazines just like any other semi-automatic pistol. And uh, very uh, reliable. It's uh, pretty much the AK, of, of, you know, it's the counterpart to an AK. It's extremely reliable. It passes every stress test that the AK can pass. Uh, and it's also one of the most, for me, one of the most comfortable handguns that I've ever held and or fired. And like I said, my only complaint with it is the, the power is a bit lacking. It's comparative to a 380, somewhere in that ballpark. And, uh, but it's a very nice, very nice weapon. Very hard to find. Uh, Actually, if anyone has one for sale, contact me because I'm I'm willing to buy another or two more Makarovs. I'm a big Makarov enthusiast. I'd like to do some custom work to one. This is an original. I want to keep it that way, but I'd like to have a couple more. Let's go on to the cartridges. Here we go. This, uh, I'm going to scoot a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and grab these so that we can... Uh, Take a good look at what we got here. This uh, this is the gas seal cartridge that the Nagant revolver fires. The lead is actually down inside the cartridge. That so in the cylinder, we'll demonstrate. Place the round in. When the round comes to battery, it's going to come in and seal. And that causes it to have a higher velocity than a regular revolver because you don't lose the gas pressure at the breech. So that's the 762 by 38R Nagant round. Uh, standard 12 gauge shell that the the double barrel fires. That's a two and three quarter dub load. And here's the here's what everybody wants to know. This is an AK-47 round, 7.62 by 39 millimeter. It's not the biggest round, but it's definitely mean. Lacks does not lack in the power department against uh, soft targets. This is the 5.45 by 39 millimeter round. We'll put them side by side. On the right we have the AK-47 and on the left we have the AK-74. Noticeably smaller but very deadly. The Afghans called this the poison bullet uh, during the Soviet conflict. Their incursion into Afghanistan. Uh, this is comparable ballistically to a 5.56 by 45 millimeter which is the 223 Remington that the AR-15s fire, that the which standard U.S. service round, the saw, the M249 saw fires it. Uh, these are hollow points. These are soft lead tips. They're both extremely deadly, and uh, this is inherently more accurate. Uh, it also recoils a lot less. 
but they're basically the same in price. They're the length, cartridge length. The 39 is uh, indicative of the, the length of the cartridge. It's they are basically the same length. The lead is just smaller, and of course the diameter is smaller. So that's your AK4774 side by side round comparison. Now we're going to do uh, this is another one I get. This is the 7.62 by 54R. It's rimmed. There's where your R comes from. Uh, this is the 7.62 by 54R. This is the 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO, commonly known as the 308 Win, 308 Winchester. This is what the M60 fired in the Vietnam conflict. This is what the M249 uh, Golf fires. Uh, it's the one of the standard rounds that the uh, our general purpose machine guns fire. That's in Iraq, Afghanistan, conflict zones around the world. This is the Russian version. This is a much older cartridge than the 308 or the 7.62 by 51 NATO. Uh, comparable in size, the Russian bullet is throwing a lot more lead out there grain-wise. Uh, you can get a lot more match grade ammo on this. Uh, this is inherently, I would argue, a lot more accurate than this in uh, comparable designs. Uh, but in the general purpose machine gun spectrum, a PKM and an M60 or an M240 side by side, you're going to see about the same damage and about the same range and effectiveness out of both of these cartridges. So as far as the cartridge debate goes, these against each other, uh, it's just pretty much what design you like more. And from what I've gathered, because I've shot M60s, I've shot, in, I've shot an M240 once at a, a Knob Creek at a machine gun shoot, and uh, the more reliable gun is the PKM, arguably. Oh, let's do the nine millimeter comparisons before we move on. This is the nine by eighteen Makarov round, and this is the nine by nineteen Luger, Parabellum, whatever. This is the standard 9mm that uh, a lot of you know people carry for personal protection. Police use it. It's uh, the MP5 is chambered in the 9mm. The Uzi is chambered in 9mm. It's it's the famous. It's the 9mm. When you hear of the 9mm, this is the cartridge that you're going to think of. 9 by 19, 9 by 18. A little bit of a difference. Uh, they're both uh, you know basically the the um, cartridge is basically the same. It's the uh, same in diameter. You can fit them end to end, they're about the same. The lead is the difference. Uh, and I have a gun, I've been asked uh, if I have any other weird kind of off the wall guns. I have a AB10, uh, shoots the 9mm. Not Russian, but I've never actually put this in a video, so I thought, got some videos of me bump firing this that I'm going to try and upload pretty soon. Pretty neat little gun. And last but not least, the 7.62 by 25 millimeter uh, Tucker Red Brown. Uh, also, I forgot to mention earlier, uh, people that play Call of Duty, people that are uh, World War II history buffs and, and things like that will uh, note that this is the round that the PPSH 41, 42, and 43 fired, or the Papa Shaw. So, uh, you know, this this little pistol fires this round, but the Papa Shaw was firing 71 of these, and I don't remember the cyclic rate, but if you've ever wondered what that mean little gun fired, it fired this bottlenecked high velocity 30 caliber cartridge. And that, I'm thinking, concludes the third part to our video segment here. Uh, more to come. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Send me more requests, and I'll try and fill them.